So today makes day number three or four, maybe even two, I don't know. When with the bipolar, when it hits the level of the disassociative, disconnected, the days just kind of run together and it's hard to keep track of how many, like it's the sun comes up and goes down, but you can't really count it. So, another adventure in the life and times of bipolar. My company is doing everything that they can to help, um, and they really are trying, and I really do appreciate it, but because of the way everything is set up, I don't qualify for FMLA or short-term disability. My doctors pulled me out of work for a month. Um, there's a possibility of electroconvulsive therapy, um, which has a very high success rate for bipolar. Um, and uh, up, updating and increasing the medication I'm currently on. Finding a therapist gives me a month, if not longer. Um, but the options that we have now are to fill out an ADA request form, I guess, where I'm actually labeled disabled because bipolar, of course, falls under the ADA Act because it can be very dysfunctional. Um, so today was just started at 4.30 and I cried a lot and I just got very frustrated and just ready for it to just stop or ease up or some type of resolution but um but the doctor's appointment went well i have probably the best general um practitioner in the world um i've had her for 15 years and she's done nothing but support me and tell me flat out that I always have options regardless even when I don't think I do um, and I'm in a good environment the significant other is just amazing and knows all the things to not say to me <laughs> and all the things to say to me and that's helping me get through all of this a lot better than it would be otherwise um, so I guess, I guess that's it for a day in my life. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna take a nap soon because, because all of this is very surprisingly exhausting. I just, I hope I can get all of this worked out. And, um, let's do a coping tip of the day. Um, behavioral modification. Um, I came up with a theory of disrupting the um, response react. Um, like with me, if I feel something, I immediately react to it without having that like 10 second gap to actually think about, okay, am I being rational, am I being irrational, is it worth the effort? Um, so what I've come up with is something completely unrelated to any emotional concept. Um, there's no history to it, there's no attachment to it, it's just a Mr. Potato Head, like the, the mustache and everything, in lingerie doing a sexy dance. Because when you focus on something like that, it breaks that reactive cycle and it after a while then you can actually or I can actually look at what I was being upset about or depressed about and analyze it and then go forward. The only downside is it's more a preventative as opposed to a cure. Once it gets to the point where it's been the last couple of days, it just doesn't. I'm so caught in the cycle that I'm not able to just break it. Um, so that's a tip that I've come up with over the last couple of years. Um, once again, hope everybody has 
great day and um, I'll probably do another one tomorrow maybe I don't know just one day at a time is really all I can do right now